guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we are over on the test account and a lot of conversation about the new Awakened Hero that is gonna be coming. Now there is a sheet, the future forecast that came out from AFK Inside, where of course we get kind of all of the background or the sneak peeks when it comes to AFK Arena. But overall guys, this is not official and I really wanna stress it. When it comes to what AFK Inside, a lot of it is data mining, a lot of it is resources um, that we've seen, even going back, I believe years at this point, a lot of the information that we have gotten from them has been 98% accurate. I know when it came to Frampton and Hades, a lot of people thought it was gonna be the crossover, but it was actually the release of Frampton. Um, but through the years, we have seen a lot from AFK Inside. So let's take a look at what they're bringing us today. All right, guys, so here is the AFK Inside future forecast. This is episode number two or volume number two. So running through this real quick, guys, you can see hero code names, Astro Palm. Note, Palm is like a... That is right, guys. Again, this is not an official confirmation of the Awakened Hero, but it seems like Leica is going to be the next one that is gonna be the Awakened Hero based on what we're seeing from AFK Inside. That pretty, I, I mean, I'm not, not disappointed with it. We were hoping for all Miss. We were hoping for a couple other heroes. Um, Leica, however, is still used in quite a few formations, which is kind of interesting that they went with her as the choice for the Awakened Hero. So we know it's going to be a Wilder. We know it is going to be Leica more than likely at this point, which means, guys, save your cards. Now, overall, again, with the effectiveness that we see of Leica, with the awe ability, um, with the haste, the energy, it's going to be very interesting to see if they keep her as a hero that we've known and loved as a Ranger. Um, or are they going to change it up? Again, a lot of players were saying that they need to change it up, that we need more casters, things of that nature. But that leaves one and only one, guys, which of course is the very, very last Awakened Hero, probably for this year, which is gonna be our Graveborn. So pretty soon, guys, we're gonna have in the next, what, two to three months, we'll start getting ready for the Awakened version of our Graveborn Hero. And again, fingers crossed, a lot of players are saying Oden, um, a lot of players are saying Shamira, some are saying Torn. So let me know in the comments who you think it is going to be. But you also know there's Astro M and Astro R. Now that is more real in Audrey. I don't know what they're doing around those. I'm assuming those could possibly be skins is what I'm thinking. Um, but again, I, I, I really think they need to focus on skins that are more prevalent for newer used heroes. I have Moriel and I have Audrey built. Um, I don't use either of them short of probably the Celestial Tower, which right now that tower is capped, meaning I don't use them for anything in AFK Arena. So I like when they came out with like Palmer skin and Anasta skin recently. Um, both of those are skins and both of those are heroes that we do use. Now there is also another code name, guys, which is Admiral. I'm assuming that after Leica is released and we do this whole event, Admiral is going to be the next hero that is going to be coming. Makes me think right off the bat of a light bearer hero that we could be seeing. Since it was Guineas was the last one we got and it's been a significant amount of time since Guineas because after we had Guineas, we had the Tiny Tank, which is the Maulers. Um, we had Trishio, which was of course the Wilders. And then we also did have Ivan. So it seems like it's on par, especially because we just had a Celestial and a Hypogen hero that it is going to be a light bearer and it is going to be Admiral. Now the new events, we have the Frosty Treasures and we have the Snow Melt Bundle. Um, I don't know if this is going to be an actual gift that we get or if that is going to be into the purchase. Um, and then of course the Frosty Treasures we did see, I believe that is going to be the Celestial, uh, the, Celestial the, the flip card event that we have coming out that is similar to Bingo where you draw different cards or if they're gonna change it. And I am truly hoping that these are new events that is not going to be the recycled that we have kind of seen in the past. Because like we had showed before guys, when it comes to the events, again, I think these are the events that they're kind of talking about is when you kind of check out the calendar right here, we have the Celestial Isles, which I know it talks about again, the, the Frosty Treasures, but this is probably what I'm thinking of the Frosty Treasures. Heroes of Esprit, of course, our coming Battle of Blood is up on the global servers right now. And then we do have the case. And as you can see guys right here, we do have Kazan here, which makes me think that Kazan Leica are gonna go together for this story. Um, might be a little bit too early with the Awakened Hero, but I think we're pretty on par where this could be the very first kind of storyline that they're building around Leica, um, entering the game as an Awakened Hero, ultimately going into the cinematics, going into the free cards, um, everything of that nature. Now remember guys, with the release of a new Awakened Hero, we get about 100, 100 plus time emblems at that point. 
So even looking on the YouTube account, I'm at about 300 emblems. So if I'm picking up another 100 out of there, if we can get some in the meantime, which on that account, I'm getting two of my time emblems every single day, which means that we're gonna be able to get hopefully four or 450 is roughly what I wanna do and where I wanna get to so we can build the next Awakened Hero that is coming, which of course, again, not officially launched, but they are saying is going to be like a lot of loot in here, guys, with all of the events and everything that we have going on right now, getting the Stargazer Scrolls, getting the Time Emblems, really a big, big priority to push the towers. I cannot stress it enough, guys, for both of those avenues of getting the scrolls and the cards, push the towers all that you can. That's what I've been doing on the YouTube account. A lot of players are wondering how we've gotten so many Time Emblems over there. Now, remember, between Sophia and between Leica, who is coming pretty soon, um, we have bought zero Time Emblems. I'm short of the time emblems that we're getting out of the or the deluxe monthly pack. That is the only other way that we're getting the additional ones in there, but I buy them every day out of the shop, then out of the events, but I have grinded the towers to the point where I've actually capped a few of the towers where I can't make any more progression or get any more cards out of there. All right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.